crypto is over 14 years old and has seen its fair share of game theory and manipulation play out. Throughout this process, a few obvious centralizing entities have fully established, organized and been allowed to thrive. Although early development could have never preemptively solved for each of these entities, it remains important to course correct at every opportunity. Let's dive into three of these centralizing entities and the efforts Decred has gone to, to not only remove these middlemen, but also to not insert another one in their place. As said in a previous video, mining cartels have become a negative aspect for projects looking to thrive. The free money era is gradually coming to an end, and as a result, coin holders are going to need to step up to protect their networks. On the Decred network, over the last two years, changes have been made to remove ASIC hardware and reduce the mining ward down to 1% per block, making it incredibly unprofitable to run large mining operations. Decred's mining hash power has reduced to the point where it's now feasible for independent GPU miners to participate in mining the chain. As said previously, this now means Decred isn't reliant on specialist hardware or a centralized entity to keep the chain running. Instead, coin holders are empowered to participate and take ownership of producing blocks and protecting the chain. The last two years haven't been without their pain, but coming out the other side will help insulate us from a range of possible future issues and narratives, including proof of work mining not being environmentally friendly, government shutting down mining farms, and miners having a negative impact on the project. The next centralizing element in crypto is the centralized exchange situation. Exchanges have become the gateway and gatekeepers of crypto. Centralized exchanges are huge profit machines for their owners, charging multiple fees on each trade and encouraging users to continually buy and sell in and out of projects. Decred is approaching its eighth year of being an active chain and has proven its worth and values time and again. Yet you won't find it on the majority of exchanges and the same can be said for similar noteworthy projects. Coins and tokens are at the mercy of centralized exchange listings and delistings. It's not unheard of for a coin to pay in the millions of dollars for a listing only to be delisted or limited in scope at some point in the future. Removing this middleman is incredibly hard to do as they are fully entrenched in the crypto ecosystem. But if we're going to be free from centralized entities and have the ability to trade freely, this is an important step. Remember, the mission is to remove the middleman, not replace them. It's for this reason Decred built DCR DEX, the first and to my knowledge, the only peer-to-peer -peer exchange. For the past five plus years, Decred has worked diligently on its atomic swap technology to produce an exchange for the entire space, a public good for crypto. The software is fully open source. Any project can be listed without the need for permission. Anyone can run a swap server and in a future iteration, the mesh network will link all servers and their order books together. Trades are completed on chain, no KYC or accounts of any description, no trade fees, no front running, and all coins are held in your non-custodial wallet throughout the exchange process, never leaving your possession. Finally, it brings me to communications. Centralized communications are a massive issue in every walk of life, not just crypto. Having centralized entities suppress, front run, and manipulate projects narratives can be extremely destructive. Communications networks and publications acting in their self-interest are extremely detrimental to innovation and give a huge advantage to the highest bidders. Censorship and narrative suppression is happening in every area of mainstream communication. For instance, crypto news publications are generally paid for by the products they promote and will ignore or publish hit pieces on projects that offer any kind of competition. Mainstream media publications and outlets, on the other hand, tend to only focus on the big projects, Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc., or the negative aspects of crypto. And social media is generally a mess of meme coins, Ponzi schemes, and number go up wannabe professional traders and misleading information. For this reason, Decred is built Bison Relay, a privacy preserving, censorship resistant platform for group chats, peer to peer messaging, and social media news feeds. Bison Relay also addresses the issue of message spam attacks and bot armies by building the platform on the Lightning Network, where each message costs a micropayment of one atom per byte to send and receive. In its infancy, Bison Relay already provides a pretty impressive system for cheap and efficient payments, including tips and purchasing content. And moving forward, the platform is likely to provide a host of other peer-to-peer -peer payment services and storefronts. Although I could discuss a few other ways in which Decred has developed software to remove centralized entities, 
These three areas are the most current and demonstrate a commitment to making tough decisions and having the technical ability to successfully follow through.